I am making this video in response to some of the questions I've received. Uh, my students and my piano-loving friends, they're having difficulty with some of the passages, um, getting it up to the actual tempo. First of all, I'd like to discourage you from identifying these passages or sections as the difficult passage or the fast passage, thereby making a psychological block. So think of it within the context of the music and think about why the composer needed the density of the notes or the speed or the complicated harmony or the leaps, why the musical necessity for those, um, the effect that the composer was looking for. So number two, be creative about practicing. Isolate the things that make it difficult to play. Make it as pinpoint as possible and then solve each problem. So if it was the speed, then slow it down and group it, starting from the groups of two notes. Trun, trun, trun. If you're able to play two notes faster than the actual tempo, then try four. Different groupings. Right? Different groupings. And then eight, and then twelve, and so on and so forth. And if it was the leaps, then really, like, bigger the muscle you use, the better the muscle memory. So don't think in terms of fingers. But think in terms of the back muscle motion, arm motion, right? And also, if you're close, this is a large distance. But if you're farther away, further away, not so much. It's manageable. It's a matter of perspective, too, right? Don't try to play the difficult things from the beginning to the end, all 12 measures or whatever. Be very specific, one beat at a time, solve one beat at a time, separate the hands, separate the voices, um, separate the leaps, uh, make it as small a challenge as possible to tackle and solve each of them. And then combine them gradually in manageable chunks. And thirdly, don't forget to compliment yourself. Negative self-talk doesn't help. Fourth, breathe. If you find yourself not breathing uh, to focus, it's not sustainable. And when you're not breathing, there is some tension in your body. So really try consciously to breathe. If it's a long passage, then decide on places to breathe. And really clarify the units in your mind. So where are the commas? Where are the periods? Um, even shorter, just count each measure. Uh, you know, count the beats or count it, just the downbeats, right? Count out loud if you need it to. Um, yeah, so smaller chunks as possible. I hope this was helpful. Subscribe to my channel, please. See you next time.